the wire-cutting jeep. The Willys jeep had many unusual attachments during the war to serve a multitude of purposes, such as this squirrel cage jeep, a failed design to make driving on soft ground easier. The wire cutter attachment on jeeps, however, was a simple, effective, and sometimes neck-saving device. Though somewhat of a pop culture cliché, taut wire traps have been popular throughout history, as they are a simple and effective way to wound and kill or disrupt enemy vehicles, particularly open-top vehicles and motorcycles. Jeeps were vulnerable as many Jeeps drove with their windows down so their windshield didn't reflect sunlight and expose their position. The window down further made firing from a Jeep much easier. During World War II, Germans would set traps using readily available metal wire. Wires weren't guaranteed to decapitate or kill anyone, but added an extra obstacle for drivers to be hesitant of. Wires simply need to clip a driver or machine gunner to knock them off a vehicle or severely injure them. There have further been many criminal assault and attempted murder charges laid against civilians using taut wire traps, often set up by disgruntled landowners looking to discourage motorbikes and the like from their property with some not realizing how even fishing line can be deadly if hit at high speed. During the war, wire traps of course were less effective than mines, but wire traps still worked well because wire is readily available, and these traps take little effort to set up. In fact, the Germans had to worry about wire as well. Resistance fighters were known to set taut wire traps for them. Due to the ease of setting up such taut wire traps and the psychological effect these traps have, Wire traps have been observed in virtually every modern war, including Vietnam, and even in the Second Gulf War. Added struggles with such traps would include having to investigate for the potential of any associated explosives the wires may have been linked to. The answer for World War II taut wire traps for Jeep drivers was easy. An in-the-field bolted or welded metal bar with a sharp notch or two attached to the front of the Jeep, able to cut such wire. There are few actual reports of any soldiers being severely injured by such wires, but these traps existed in enough numbers that many Jeep operators felt more comfortable with a wire cutter attached to their bumper. Some might have confused this attachment with a snorkel device. Different types of snorkels for engine air intake were set up during the war, but usually they were of the flexible hose type shown here, which were discarded after deep water use. Another safety measure for Jeep drivers during the war included sandbags on the floors to help protect against mines. Alright, I'm Johnny, so now you know why your granddad might have had a pole on his willy during the war. Anyway, do take care and have a nice rest of your day.